Pulling up. Let's see. Hopefully everything. Oh, it's wrong. Oh. Oh. I might. I might have missed the first startup, you guys. I might have missed the first startup. We'll see. We're trying to get the first startup going. Had a dead battery. You know, Volkswagen. Hopefully, this will do it. Y'all ready? It's alive! Here you can definitely tell I was nervous because I was being quiet and I wasn't really showing my emotions as, I, as much as I wanted to show them. But I also wanted to stay calm because if anything went wrong, I didn't want to be disappointed. Oh my fucking God. Oh my god, it's alive. So, um, the reason I came over here right now, it's because the car wouldn't start up. Um, and I totally forgot to tell the guys that, um, my alarm, I had to bypass it. So, it wouldn't start and they're tripping out. And, um, so they're like, what's going on? Like, did we fuck up? And I was like, oh, no, 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 no worries. Just need to do the bypass. But I was I was so sleepy, I couldn't really explain to them how it was done. So I just drove over here, showed them how it's done. And the car still wouldn't start. Uh, find out the battery was dead as well. Uh, jumped the battery. Jeez, 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 so happy right now. There you go, boys. There you go. We have the Jetta. The Jetta, it's alive and running. Um, it does have a check engine light. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and um, scan that and see why it has a check engine light on. Um, it's always had it for other things but now with this new motor don't know why it has it but we'll figure that out but yeah it's it's man it sounds good i might hear like a little tick on the valve or something But we'll get to that. You guys tell me. Um, this is way too loud in my opinion. I know Volkswagen's are a little noisy, but... I'm not sure about this movie, and especially on the VR6, I, I, I know more of like diesel cars have that thick. Let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments if uh, I'm overreacting a little bit about it or if it definitely needs to get checked. Um, I need to talk to my buddy here and see what he says. Um, hopefully it's nothing serious. Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna go on the first fucking drive, you guys. I can't believe it's happening. And on such a random ass day, too. Oh, yeah, first seatbelt. Always wear your seatbelt. Oh, 
power steering is it's non-existent. Oh shit, this is gonna be hard with one hand. Well, we're gonna have to figure that out. The power steering is non-existent, but we are driving it. I'm not gonna rip on it or I'm not gonna do anything crazy on it. We're just trying to see, see if it holds temperature, if it doesn't overheat. Um, let's go this way. Oh man. It's been a while since I've been driven a car without power steering. Let's go boys. Like actually really good. Um, wow. It idles. Amazing. Uh, now let's just hope that it doesn't overheat and that it warms up enough. But yeah, wow. You guys, I'm so happy right now. Oh, but this power steering is killing me. And it sounds amazing. Woo! VR6, baby! VR6, baby! Yeah! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I can't believe... Well, I just can't believe it. I can't believe it's... What, today's Thursday? And it was the most random fucking thing ever. And now I'm in the car. I'm in the jet. I literally drove it. I we did the first startup on it. God damn, I'm happy. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and not turn off the car. I can't turn it off because it's had a dead battery for a while now, and I'm afraid if I turn it off. I won't be able to get to, get it to start without a jump jumpers or a jump box and I forgot to bring one um, but just wanted to uh, park real quick just kind of talk about what's going on with this car you know um, I've been my videos have been all over the place The VR6, and um, you guys remember me about the uh, loud noise that was coming from the head, and I was tripping about it. You guys gotta keep in mind when he called me, I was asleep. Ten minutes later, like I was saying, ten minutes later, I'm driving to a shop, and um, and we did the first startup. How crazy is that? Like just boom, out of nowhere. But anyways. Um, in the previous clips, you could hear the that the um, there's a loud ticking noise coming from the head, and um, and I was low-key kind of worried. Not gonna lie, I was like, "Oh fuck!" Like you know, lifters or or valves, da da da. I don't know, some some issue with the, with the head. And um, my buddy was like, "No, just go drive it. Uh, they are automatic lifters, and they gotta there. You know, there's no oil, and just go drive it, and then." it'll go away and I drove it for about let's say I want to say 10 minutes uh, and so quiet now it sounds perfect this right here makes me moist I love the VR6 I love it I love it I know it's heavy I know it's slow but you just can't go wrong with the VR6 Fuck yeah. Anyways, um, I just wanted to walk around the car with a little bit more freedom. And let you guys get the whole 
vibe of the car. Yes, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh my god, guys. Well, I, I don't know. I'm lost for words right now. I really am too excited. Uh, so much plans. So much things I want to do to this car. And I'll go ahead and break it down on another video. What's going on, guys? And so this is another video, another day, another week. So actually this is about a week and a half from the last clip you guys are you just saw about me walking around the car talking about you know how excited i am that i finally got the car and all that shit. i am but i felt like the video doesn't do justice to how excited i was really feeling inside number one i was nervous about the car blowing up or something going going wrong with the car which is scary you know it's got a new engine swapped it's a rebuilt engine and when that things like that you know happen anything can go wrong so i was nervous about that i was definitely feeling it the second thing is having this camera in my face <clears throat> not super comfortable but i'm learning to fight my demons and my insecurities and and that's why maybe I just felt very uncomfortable that day or I, but the most important thing is the car is finally home I have the car at my parents house right now um, since the day we did the whole uh, that video that last video where we we swapped the engine and we finally did the first startup and all of that the car hasn't been moved in about over a week and a half and now since the car hasn't been moved over a week and a half um due to weather and all whatnot it's just been sitting there I haven't been able to really create any content that i think it's worth putting out there um this videos this last couple of clips that you guys have seen is just kind of to fill in for the last video last time i recorded which was like a week and a half ago and the phone was just not cooperating with me it, it kept um dying on me or saying st storage was full and i got frustrated so i just wanted to uh finish the the, the video now you uh, i'm under this awesome tree that my kids put together for grandma and grandpa um i want to take the, a second to thank you guys for being here honestly it means the world to me thank you guys and also have a uh, happy holidays be safe don't forget that there's someone out there who loves you and just like somebody out there loves you there's people that care about their families trying to get home that night so please be safe and just like that you guys i will catch you guys on the next video thank you guys for watching be safe peace <laughs>